Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 40 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. So we're going to be working with the classes and objects module now. So first up, what is an object? So object-oriented programming is a programming style that is intended to make thinking about programming closer to thinking about the real world. So in programming, objects are independent units and each has its own identity just as objects in the real world do. An apple is an object, so is a mug. Each has its unique identity. And it's possible to have two mugs that look identical, but they're still separate, unique objects. Cool. So an object has what? An identity. Cool. Um, an object might contain other objects, but they're still different objects, right? The idea of these two mugs, they might look the same like in a factory, but they're different. Objects also have characteristics that are used to describe them. For example, a car can be red or blue, a mug can be full or empty, and so on. These characteristics are called attributes. An attribute describes the current state of an object, and objects can have multiple attributes. Uh, so an object's state is dependent of its type. A cup might be full of water, another might be empty. So this goes back to the uniqueness of them. An attribute describes um, the current state of an object. Cool. Um, so in the real world, each object behaves in its own way. The car moves, the phone rings, so they have different actions that they perform. So the following three dimensions describe any object in object-oriented per any object in object oriented programming identity its uniqueness its attributes what it does its behavior its actions so what are the three things that describe an object okay so it's identity attributes and behavior cool and uh, here we have some examples right so I'm not going to read all this I'll just explain it to you so here we have a person object okay so it's unique and then it has a name property of John an age property of 25 and a method called talk whereas you know, these might all show the talk method, but the name and age are different. Here we have a car object, which is completely different. It takes in a color and a year as its properties, and it has these three methods on it, which are unique to the car. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out. In regard to objects, which two of the following statements are true? So, uh, objects are not always physical items. Okay, um, let's see. Objects are not always physical items. Uh, yeah, I guess that would be true. And uh, objects are not always visible items. I guess that one would be true too. So a uh, quick, quick uh, tutorial. That was part 40. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. So take care.